Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week we're looking at using Apple Notes to manage your yearly goals. Because the truth is planning out your goals is a little bit more than just having a few recurring steps. There's a planning process involved and this is where notes really comes into play. Now before we go any further I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video then please help me by clicking on that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Apple's productivity tools then please subscribe to my channel. Okay let's go into Apple Notes now and start making some plans for 2022. Okay, so let's get started with this. Hopefully you have seen my video on GAPRA, which is a way of organizing your notes. And the primary folder, if you want to have a meaningful life that's always moving forward, is your goals. Because this is what's going to be driving you on a day-to-day -day basis. Because if you can make sure that you're working towards your goals, you are always going to feel fulfilled. So here's one that I want to show you. Now the key part to this is what, why, how. So what I usually do is I will always start off with the what at the top, the why, and then the how. And these are my titles. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just put that as a title and if I just uh, I have a dodgy uh, trackpad at the moment. It's not working very well. I think there's a software problem, um, but we're getting there. So here we go. If I just add uh, in here heading and the how, let's turn that into a heading also. So there we go. So what is it? So what I want to do is to attend the live uh, UPW. For those of you who are not in the know, UPW is Tony Robbins's Unleash the Power Within course. So attend the live UPW in Sydney in, uh, in September, because it's usually in September, uh, with my wife. So I'm going to put with my wife, which is with RK. Uh, why? Well, the why is to continue my personal development. There you go, because that is coming from my personal development area of focus. So to continue my personal development and to uh, give RK, my wife, uh, an experience she will never forget. And for those of you who have done a UPW, uh, you will understand exactly what I mean when I say an experience you will never forget. So that's my why. And then how? Well, now, the problem I've got here is we don't know if it's actually going to happen right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a few little check uh, check boxes here. So check uh, in March um, whether we can book tickets. And there we go, I can't spell. Um, and what else are we going to do? Um, we said we'll book hotel. And this is just brainstorming book flights because we would need to do this in this order because hotel, if it does happen, hotels near the venue are going to be hard to find. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save myself a little bit of time. I'm going to go open up Safari. And I'm going to go uh, UPW Sydney. Um, now, I'm not sure if this is going to do well, UPW Sydney Australia event. Um, UPW 2021. This All this did not happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go. Um, let's go Tony Robbins. UPW. I'm just going to go to the main site. Um, let's have a look. Let's go to Tony Robbins, the official website. We're going to go find uh, this site here. And we're going to see... Uh, okay, what I'm going to do is events. So I'm just going to go here and unleash the power within. So I can go to that particular site. And I'm going to copy that. In fact, actually, I don't need to copy that. What I can do now is I can... Whoops, we don't want that. Um, what we can do is just 
close that out hit that and share I'm going to add this to notes so click on that it's now going to ask me where do you want to put this note so i'm going to click on here and let's just go down to my folders goals demo upw sydney and i'm going to save that there okay so this is the virtual one but it's good enough uh, it'll remind me it gives me everything i need close that out and you'll see that the website is now in there so i don't have to go looking for that i can actually just go in there and when i'm ready which will be in march to book that ticket now the thing is check in march whether we can book tickets this is where reminders comes in and this is really how you manage your goals all you need to do now is you need to just create a task for this so i'm going to highlight that and i'm going to click on uh, control and i you can then move or should be able to share this to reminders so i'm going to share that to reminders and UPWC check tickets and I'm just going to add that into my inbox like that so that's now into my reminders and that's really all I needed to do and that will trigger me to come back to this task this goal so this is the first one now let me give you another example that one's a fairly easy one because there's nothing I can now do until March let's go into my business development so here what I've got is my what so I want to grow my company by 20% in uh, in 2022 this is the reason why so to continue working on my goal to turning CPI into the number one time management and productivity business so I'm able to help millions of people become better organized and more productive and then how so I've got my hows down here so select six courses for updating in 2022 continue to develop my skills at social media marketing and to refine my explanation as to why being better organized and more productive will free up time to spend now there is a problem that I have right here these ones here are not really tasks these are like aims if you like or or wishes I need to turn this into tasks so what I'm going to go down here is I'm going to type in next actions and again I'm going to create a checklist for this because actually I'm not going to create a checklist because I can actually move copy and paste these over to my reminders at a later date so um, choose uh, which course to update this quarter so what I can do is now create a task which will come up every two months or every quarter to um, I'm going to say courses because let's be positive so that's what I'm going to do there so let's go next actions I'm going to make that a header uh, right there now you're probably wondering how did he get this different colored text well all you have to do is shift command c which will bring up the color picker and i'm just going to go hit the orange and now that turns that header into orange and by the way this crosses over to your ipad and to your iphone so if you forgot if you missed that it's shift plus command plus c brings up the color picker there you go and I'm going to show you that in a moment in in one of the other goals that we're setting up so choose which courses to update this quarter now these are tasks these are things I can actually do um, find an online course uh, to learn more about social media marketing so there's another one that I can do. It's an actionable step because there's a what I've got here is these are the keys to actionable steps. So choose is a verb, find is a verb, and those are the so those are the kind of things that you can do in next action. So let's have a look at another one here, my health and fitness one. So this one's a lot easier to do. So again, with health and fitness, what? Well, to complete the 2022 Chun Chun Marathon in under four hours. It is very clear. It is very specific. Why? Because I want to continue to improve my levels of fitness. So I always have the strength and energy to stay healthy and vibrant. So how am I going to do that? Well, in, this one is going to be a little bit different because we're building up to running a marathon. So in qu quarter one, so that's January to March, I'm going to be running. Uh, I need to run a minimum of four times per week from January to March. Then also I want to be doing strength and flexibility exercises three times per week. 
Now, I've had Achilles tendon trouble for the last 20 years, and I'm currently trying to uh, re re heal my Achilles tendons. That's the word I was looking for. And to do that, I need to be stretching my calves and, uh, and tendons every single day. So that needs to be part of of my daily routines and also my weekly routines need to be where I'm scheduling my exercise. And then in Q2, I need to increase the amount of running that I'm doing. So I need to be running five times a week and doing a long run on a weekend of a minimum of 20 uh, kilometers or at least 15 miles, something in that region in order to be able to build up my strength to be able to run a complete marathon. And essentially, that's how you build out your goals for 2022. Now, the key here is what you're looking for are the tasks that you can move over to reminders like we did with this, this UPW Sydney so that I can make sure that I am moving my goals forward. So here, again, what I would do is I'm going to choose which courses to update this quarter. Again, I would what I do there is I'm going to send that task over to my reminders, which is going to remind me each quarter to choose a course. So there you go. That's it. That's all you need to do in order to build out your goals in 2022. And the key here is what do you want and be absolutely specific. Why? Because you need a very strong reason to do it and how, and that also is going to be form part of your tasks that you will move over to reminders so that you get the reminders. And then usually every month, all you need to do is go in here and review it, maybe modify things if you need to, uh, change some dates because, you know, life happens and we don't always manage to be able to do the things when we want to do them. But if you adopt a flexible mindset, you can alter things and fine tune and adjust and you will be fine. So there you go. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you for watching this video. Now, I'm very excited to tell you that the 2022 edition of my Create Your Own Apple Productivity System course is now available. This year, we're utilizing the brand new features in Reminders and, and Notes. We're gonna be looking at how you can use the tags to create an even better productivity system. We're also looking at how iCloud comes into the picture and your calendar. This is a complete productivity and time management setup that if you're in the Apple ecosystem, I can guarantee is gonna make your life so much easier. No more overwhelm, no more stress, no more forgetting events or tasks. It's all gonna be there in your own system that I show you how to build. It also includes the time sector system and my brand new notes organization system Capra. Okay, I hope you get time to join this course and don't forget if you're already enrolled in this course, my promise to you is every year it's a free update. I hope you enjoy the course and it'd be lovely to see you in there.